CSS, Cascading Style Sheets, is the language that brings websites to life. While HTML creates the structure, CSS is responsible for layout, design, and visual presentation of web pages. CSS was developed to solve the growing complexity of web design. A CSS rule is a set of instructions that tells browsers how to style HTML elements. It consists of a selector, which element to style, a declaration block with properties and values, how to style the element. Selectors are patterns used to select and style specific HTML elements. Types of selectors. One, basic selectors. These selectors are divided into three, element selector, styles all elements by their tag name, class selector, styles elements with a specific class, ID selector, targets a single unique element by ID. Two, relational selectors. Relational selectors help you target elements based on their relationship in the HTML structure. Selects all H1 inside divs. Three-point pseudo-class selectors. Pseudo-class selectors are special states of elements that can be styled dynamically. They respond to user interactions or specific conditions. Example, hover, style when mouse hovers. Colors in CSS serve two primary purposes styling text and backgrounds. They are crucial for creating visual hierarchy and good user experience. Color types. Text. Color controls the color of text. It's used for readability and visual emphasis. Background color. Fills the background of an element. It creates visual separation and design elements. Specificity determines which CSS rules are applied when multiple rules target the same element. It works like a point-based system, ranking from highest to lowest. The CSS box model describes how elements are structured and how space is calculated. There are divided into four categories. Content. The actual content of the element, where text or images appear. Padding. It is the space between content and border, which creates internal breathing room. Border. The line surrounding the content and padding. Margin a space outside the border that creates separation between elements. Measuring units. Units in CSS help define sizes and distances with precision and adaptability. These are separated into two categories. One, absolute units. Fixed measurements that don't change. Example, pixels. Two, relative units. Flexible measurements that adapt to the screen size. Useful for responsive designs. Prominent examples. Percentage of the parent element, M, relative to the parent element's font size, rem, relative to root element's font size, VO botch and VW, percentage of viewport height width. There are two important layouts in CSS. One, Flexbox, a one-dimensional layout method for distributing space and aligning content. Two, Grid a two-dimensional layout system for complex, responsive designs. Media queries allow different styles for different device sizes or conditions. CSS animations bring interactivity and engagement to websites. CSS backgrounds add depth, texture, and visual interest to web designs. Gradients provide smooth color transitions and are alternative to flat colors. Box shadows create visual separation and depth making elements appear raised or dramatic. CSS is more than styling. It's about creating meaningful, responsive, and engaging web experiences.